Oh boy. I am super late <laughs> tonight. It's starting almost half an hour later than I usually do. I'm not exactly sure why. Like, I just, I, I was playing some Animal Crossing earlier. Got some new flowers just show up finally, including uh, green mums. Woohoo. But yeah, I just had dinner later than usual and everything just kind of spiraled from there. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna finish out Prime 2. Point. Oh, hey, light suit. We, we've had it for so little of the adventure. It's kind of weird not seeing the dark suit. We are very nearly done with this game. The only thing we have left to do is pick up one more. Sky Temple key, and then head to the Sky Temple and finish the game. Of course, I'm going to head right there and do just that. Uh, or this could be the right portal. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think I had my directions wrong. It, there's just another room in between. Okay. There's another room in between the one that I wanted and the one that I was in. I'm just gonna ignore the pirates. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I destroyed the containers. I, th I think. Uh, usually, what I try to do in the GameCube version is just jump off of those and make it up to the portal. But I was having trouble landing on them. I think I got myself wedged in between the uh, containers and the wall. And at that point, the game just gave up and kind of destroyed the containers. <laughs> okay. okay. We have not even opened up this uh, door yet. Okay, yeah, there's nothing here. Actually, no, there's a missile. Yeah, that that's just a missile. Not not worth it, I don't think. I'm at I, I'm at the point where I ha I have enough missiles, and more is not really gonna make much of a difference to me. Oops. I was a little slow on that one. So let's see, let's just, um, oh, wrong one. Oops. Ah, dang it. There we go. I'm just gonna ignore you guys. And on honestly, I don't even have to be worried about like taking damage in here. Here. Oh, did you just die or? Okay, well, now you did. <laughs> but yeah, no, taking damage is not really that big of a deal because there's going to be a save point coming up. So, all right, let's just open this door from here. Or one of my missiles could, you know, not hit. That, that's fantastic. I'll just destroy these for safety. As boring as that is. Really? Th this one really does not want to be shot. Yeah, the Seeker missiles just kind of don't work sometimes. Like, specifically the doors. Okay, you know what? I don't think you're worth the effort. So, we haven't even been to the temple entrance before. But, uh, <laughs> the way is open.
I, I personally find it the most satisfying to turn in all of the keys at once. And the, the game really loves this uh, Luminoth music <laughs> for these cutscenes. Like, hey, did you get enough of this the first time? Well, guess what? We're going to play it twice. I wonder what traveling on a beam of light would feel like. Darn it, I thought we were just going to be able to grab it. That would have been too easy. So I am curious about the construction of these like ener energy generators. Oops. Haha. <laughs> I, I don't technically have three jumps, but I have like kind of two and a half jumps. You can get a little bit of extra height out of the screw attack. Speaking of the screw attack. Oh. Pfft. I'm getting the weirdest sense of deja vu. I, I know I've done that before. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised that like hit me that far up. Ceiling does not look like it extends down that far. Hitbox is probably lying just a little bit. Okay, so Emperor Ing fight. I'll be interested to see which of these two fights I find harder, and I don't mean the Emperor Ing phases. Comparing Emperor Ing to Dark Samus. Dark Samus will definitely be, I think, more stressful because of the timer, but we'll see. So, as tempting as it is to use the Annihilator Beam, on uh, these the tentacles. Ow! I'm I'm off to a great start. I cannot aim. Wow. Okay. This is this is going great. Oh, come on. I should just lock on to the stupid thing. Okay. There we go. Yep, it has like at least double the health here. Okay, one more. Nope. Ah. Okay, so yeah, like the the annihilator beam is just kind of a waste of ammo. Fine. Oh come on, I switched beams. Don't lie to, don't lie. <sighs> this gap in the eye is actually pretty Hard to hit. Uh, yeah, this this is definitely like kind of one of my kryptonites. Right now, is just aiming up. Oh, 
Honestly, missiles might be a little bit easier in my specific use case. I think I just have to accept the reality that like I'm just not going to be able to do this quite as fast. <laughs> hey, I dodged that one. I love playing jump rope. Oh hey, they actually drop uh, ammo. How about that? Well, I meant like light beam ammo specifically. Okay, we're we're getting there. No, come on. <sighs> that was unproductive. <sighs> Great. Man. Well, I'm getting some light beam ammo back at the least. Oh, hey, that's new. Yeah, I, w I wish I didn't have to back up so high to get locked onto these things. That that is a that is a big struggle that I'm facing right now. Man, th th this fight, this fight is annoying, not because, like, I actually think it's terribly difficult to, like, deal with most of its attacks, but I'm just ch having trouble getting lock-ons for these stupid uh, tentacles. Well, it doesn't help that, like, this phase has twice the health. Oh, oh, hey, you're doing that attack now. Great. So, I, ideally, you only have to do two of these. Normally. Because, like, four super missiles will just do it in. Ah, come on. This stupid thing. Oh my. I am supremely annoyed. <laughs> Doing the jump rope again. <sighs> okay, just let me freaking lock on to you. Jeez. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Just stand still. God. I don't 
remember this fight being like this annoying. Honestly, trilogy controls are hurting me here. Oh, come on. God, I am. <laughs> I am pissed off. Okay, come on. What? Excuse me? There we go. Okay, there we go. Starting to get some more work done. Yeah, these these inlets are a great help. Fine. All right, which oh crap? Which one am I missing? There we go. Oh boy. Off to, off to a great start. <laughs> sure, I'm sure the commentary has been absolutely fantastic so far. Fuck! I literally cannot move. So, fun fact, they removed the trick where you can screw attack into its, like, underside. In Trilogy. Oh, this is great. Jesus! That is not fucking fair. That, what the hell? Like, if you get hit by one of those, you just get trapped. And there's like nothing you can do about it. This is this is really not not good. Okay, I I need to jump. I I cannot. Fuck you. Cannot keep strafing. That oh my god. Okay, this is just the fuck okay aiming the dark beam at this thing is just fucking impossible
Yeah. This is this attack is so stupid. It's it stuns you for so long. Really? And then you go back. Wait, what the? What just happened? What? Excuse me? Where did my damage cycle go? <sighs> what? Come on. What? Oh, come on. Oh, what? Super missiles are letting me down here. There we go. Crap. I'm like out of super missiles though. This this is a problem. <laughs> Means I'm just gonna have to like shoot this thing. Oh what? What? Come on! Come on! Why did I even get hit by there? I really love how my shots just can't hit it. Oh, you fucking tease. Oh, come on. No! God! Ow! 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 Get the fuck out of here! Come on! Get in a... Oh, I chose poorly. Fuck! God, get the get the fuck out of here!
really sorry about that. I... I was livid. Like, at the end of that fight. Like, I, I it just, just has so many attacks that, like, tilt me to no end. Like... The, the beams that you can get caught in or just getting hit by any of the like charging attacks feels really really bad and I try not to swear on stream or on recording <laughs> and if that last fight was any indication of how angry I was you can kind of use that as a pretty good <laughs> Example of, of that. I I really, really hope the Dark Samus is it nearly that bad. It certainly could be. I guess we'll find out. So, I'm expecting her to have more health. Jeez. Were the tracking on these just better? Oh, right. All right, what are you doing this time? Okay, just the beam again. Oh, crap, crap. That was my bad. I'm just going to use an annihilator beam until I run out of light ammo. Okay, so we're into phase four. Basically, from this phase, it's just <laughs> a matter of uh, crap. Sucking up these. And, and hitting the shots. Let's just hope that this isn't super finicky on us. Because this is our main way of doing damage. So we just have to hope that she like does does this more often because we're not gonna get a lot of damage in otherwise. I'm just worried about like the time. You know what? I might want to try Dark Beam. Yeah, that that's definitely going to work a lot better. Like, we need to maximize our damage output here. Ah, dang it. Okay, we still got it. Crap, I missed. Okay, I was about to say, like, you better get damaged by that. Yeah, honestly, this is probably a lot easier in my book. Yep. 
Yeah, we're getting to the point where we basically get like no damage in between the uh, phases here. I think she starts doing this attack more often too. Nope, oh, did we get it? I think we got it. Ah, crap. That homed a bit better than I anticipated. I think we actually do more damage with the Dark Beam, even with these pellets. So I think Dark Beam is just the way to go for this fight. Ah, oh, what? See, ah, this is what I mean by, like, sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay. Last one, hopefully. Probably gonna get a super missile first. Or two. Or three. It's like night and day. Like this this was not even not even a challenge compared to Emperor Ring. I was a little a little bit more worried about how long it would take, but once you get into that last phase, as long as you're not messing it up, I don't really feel like it's that difficult to win the fight. But man, I I did not remember Emperor Ng being nearly that annoying. And maybe it's because I'm just used to facing it on normal or I guess veteran in this version of the game. But like the normal difficulty, that that first phase would be probably less than half as long. And like likewise, the second phase obviously doesn't have nearly as much health. And like ob obviously the, the attacks do less as well. But it's just, it's, it's a frustrating fight because it's just so hard to hit in this, like, honestly, both phases have their difficulties. Like with the first phase, you know, hitting the tentacles is kind of annoying. And then the second phase, just getting shots in its mouth or face or whatever can be frustrating, like to the point where you know, charge beam is okay. Like normal power beam is fine. Uh, the you know, charge light shots are also fine. But you just cannot hit it with the dark beam. <laughs> like the, the dark beam is better than the ice beam when it comes to shot travel speed. But it's just not like it moves too fast in order for those to work. So that that's why I just you know, shoot the annihilator beam and just mash that at it because <laughs> going with the dark beam is just not worth it. And honestly, like when it's in the dark beam phase, it spits out those enemies. And if you're just mashing the annihilator beam, you'll kill a good number of them and get your ammo back that way. So running out of ammo isn't as big of a deal. So here, here's that 75% ending. It worked very hard to unlock. I thought this was like the weirdest looking of the Samus models from like between Prime 1 and Prime uh, 3. 
Like, obviously Prime 1 is a bit dated, but it still, it still looks all right, and then Prime 3 is probably the best looking one of the bunch. This one just looks a little plasticky, I want to say. It almost looks like it's, you know, a Barbie version of Samus. Oh boy. So... We definitely... This is definitely harder overall than Prime 1, although I was expecting that. I think probably some of the places that I expected to have trouble with, like Boost Guardian and Alpha Guardian, or pff, Alpha Guardian, Alpha Blog, were uh, definitely, definitely lived up to their reputations in my memory. <laughs> you just have so little health at that point in the game. And then, uh, honestly, the, the main three bosses weren't really that bad. Honestly, for how much I hyped up Quadraxis, Quadraxis was kind of easy. Although, I, I don't know which one I, of the three I would say is hard. You know, like the hardest, because honestly, none of them were really that bad. Obviously, I, I've talked at length about Emperoring at this point. Not not a fan of that. Now, they, they definitely succeeded at making a more difficult fight. <laughs> than Prime 1, but I mean, this this game kind of, uh, you know, Prime 1 has decent bosses. Some of the mini bosses are kind of eh, like you know, high, high mecha and incinerator drone. I mean, it, it, it is the first game in the series, so I cut them a little bit slack on those, but this game definitely uh, upped the combat intensiveness a lot, a lot of uh, fights enemies are more involved but if you ask me <laughs> we have the hardest game yet to come so the one uh, from which the hyper mode difficulty got its name, and that, that is Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. I, I think the overall difficulty in Prime 3 is just higher. Like, th this game, I think, sp has difficulty spikes more than anything. So, you know, the, the mini-bosses and, you know, like, Emperor Aang, for example, uh, are significantly harder than some of the other other fights. But, like, Prime 3 just across the board uh, on Hyper Mode. Lots and lots of enemies are, are really, really dangerous. And that's, like, excluding the bosses. Like, not even getting into the bosses. Just, just the enemies. So, if, if, if there's anywhere that I'll regret... <laughs> Doing this, it's probably Prime 3. Hmm, interesting. So, like, executive producer credit already rolled, but they had some other ones after it. We're almost at the end of the credits, though. I mean, at least there's like one thing that they kind of retained of the original game is their uh, credit sequences. Because Pri Prime 2's menu design, I'm talking about like the title screen sort of design and like similar to what's coming up here on the credits is, is pretty nice. The actual in menu design in Prime 2 is eh, it's all right. Definitely made an interesting choice with how you select things <laughs> in this game. It didn't really come up too much. 619. At Prime 3, I'm expecting to be even longer than that.
All right. Yeah, give give the game some time to load back into the menu. All right, so we did the first two completions on this old save file because <laughs> uh, I can't like start a new game on this when there's already a previous game with the completion data, apparently. So, uh, but that makes, okay, no, it, it does say completed. So that that's a finished save file. So yeah, we can start a new game from here. Ah, what a relief. I can actually finally do a game on this file. This is not going to go well. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Any anytime you want to load. Uh oh, there's a glitch in the matrix. There, there's some fun Easter eggs in that wall of text. You don't really notice some of the details on this cutscene, to be honest, like the uh, ones in the background there. Mostly just focused on, you know, Dark Samus is back. That, that took a long time. And I I didn't get the 100% ending for Prime 2, so... To spoil what that is, it basically shows Stark Sam is coming back. So, yeah, people who 100% it's Prime 2 knew what was up going into this game. Oh, joy. <laughs> so, this, this is the game where they do... Uh, oh, okay, not yet. I did things in the wrong order. I got I got enticed by the red outline. Okay, do, do, do they not recognize my ship? I, I suppose it is a new ship, right? If we're, if we're being honest. Okay. Da, 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 da. Gotta say, this this is a really slick ship design. That's one of my favorite gunships of Samus's throughout uh, the Metroid series. Prime, Prime 3 various suit looking pretty nice. 
ah. <laughs> I was close. Alright, so, shall we play a game? Okay, let's, uh... There is, uh... Pff, oh, great. There is an achievement. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with one, I think. Like, you do get a credit for shooting... Getting a certain number in a row. Oh, I'm doing great with this. I don't think I'm gonna get close to that. I think it's like 10. Although I may have already unlocked that credit on this save file, so there might be no way of knowing if I would have gotten it or not. And like credits are not a super big priority me on this playthrough because I, I think you know on, on this file I've already gotten a lot of them from previous playthrough like you'll notice that a lot of things have already been scanned so we probably won't need to scan too many things also fu fun fact about this if you no Samus's passcode. You can just enter it. <laughs> you don't actually have to scan the terminal there. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's gonna be slightest bit awkward. If there's one thing that I definitely appreciate about this game is like what it does for lore building. Like you, you learn a lot more about the Galactic Federation, you get to meet some other bounty hunters. So thankfully this one the game does automatically for you. In the future though, you get to line it up yourself. Oh, this is gonna work so well. And this is the game that's actually built around motion controls. Aren't you Samus Aaron? It's an honor to meet you. Why, thank you. The beginning of the game is going to be more of a breather. Honestly, it won't, won't be staying that way for too long, but at least for now we don't have to worry about combat. Got, gotta love uh, games euphemisms for saving. Yeah, the, the health looks interesting in this game. They kind of redesigned it. I think they redesigned it in Prime 2 as well, but it was more similar to its Prime 1 design in that game.
Oh uh, yeah, so, you know. Start off with the charge beam and the morph ball and bombs. All from the start. And guess what? We're not losing our upgrades in this game. Yay. Thank you for the follow, Brian. That seems efficient, but necessary. You see, seven days ago, we discovered that all of our units were infected with an unknown virus. We were forced to bring the network down. Fortunately, our scientists were quickly able to devise a vaccine. Unit 242 was the first AU to receive the vaccine. We were able to completely purge the virus. Where did this virus come from? We believe the virus is of space pirate origin. Four months ago, the GFS Valhalla went missing while on a training mission in the Clar Nebula. The ship's logs revealed that they were attacked by a space pirate raiding vessel. What is the logic in disrupting a Federation training mission? They're pirates. How could they resist a prize like that? That never would have happened, Brian. Then it's a shame you weren't. The pirates boarded the Valhalla and gained access to the ship's Aurora unit, 313. This is how they were able to hack into the network and plant the virus. Thanks to our security protocols, we were able to shut down the network before the damage to the virus became irreversible. But we're still vulnerable. If the pirates decide to launch a major offensive, we'd be hard-pressed to defend ourselves. We must rid the other AUs of that virus and bring the network back online. <laughs> An assault, you say? That's where you come in. We need you to deliver the vaccine to each of the AUs in this system. We'd also like you to investigate the pirates' activity in the area. We need to know what they're up to. Condition red. All personnel to combat ready stations. Repeat. Condition See, bad things happen when you attempt fate. Things are starting to get a little bit more interesting now. A bit, bit of an exposition dump at the start, but hey, context is important. It, it's honestly surprising like how good the first two Prime games are at setting up their respective uh, adventures with like so little context. So, this game, you know, required, required a bit more dialogue, but that's also just kind of how this game operates. So there are blue credits that you can get for uh, saving Federation troopers here and there. I, if I didn't get any of them during the main uh, let's play, like for which the previous save data on this file is from, I'm probably not going to get them now. <laughs> Just because uh, pirates have some more health here. Crap. Yeah, it de definitely does not help if I miss. Nope, hey, I think some people actually did survive. Yay! <laughs> they lived.
Oh, right. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> I'm surprised those still go down in a single charge shot. I think that's the same as like normal. Oh boy. Hopefully my aim improves. Definitely cannot afford to. Oh, hey, I saved the guy. Oh, cool. <laughs> I, I guess I didn't do that last time. Hey, are, are you okay? Wonderful. Yeah, we uh, definitely find a creative way back to our ship. That's that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, we are kind of past the uh, important cutscenes right now. Okay, fine. I guess I'll deal with your friend. Or you could just run. That that's cool too. These guys are really like playing hard to get. There. Wow, they that why are they running away from me so much? What what is up with this? This like this AI behavior is foreign to me. Like, why are they being so evasive? Okay, I I need to like kill one of them at some point here. Like, seriously. Okay, armor's off. I I have to remember that like I don't have to charge beam everything in this game, like the actual regular power beam is not bad. <laughs> Unlike uh, Prime 2, where it's like just straight up garbage compared to the charge beam. Okay. <laughs> yeah, honestly, once I remembered like that I don't have to charge shot everything, <laughs> uh, fight went a lot faster. I have to, have to keep that in mind. Especially given the aiming controls. Like having more flexibility with that. Okay, so we get to survive here for a bit. There is an achievement. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, like, yeah, you have a bit more health, don't you? Oh, you dropped down, like, right in my face. But you do you, you get an achievement for, like, killing so many of these. You can actually just sit here and farm them until you get it. Actually, I think the, I think the uh, achievements are just for, like, general number of kills. But I'm not going to stick around here to find out. Oh, hey, it's Rundus. Aw, oh, isn't that nice? The game's giving us an energy tank super early on. Is, is, isn't that wonderful? I'm sure we're not gonna, you know, need it or anything. I, I am very much joking. Oh, hey. Instant unmorph. But uh, yeah, like like in the previous titles, I will be getting every energy tank that I can get my hands on for this, because it's it's even more critical in this game than those. Right, we can totally just skip over all that and and miss the really fun segment that is, you know, Samus floating outside in space without a tether, which. 
would absolutely scare the living daylights out of me. One one false move and you just go floating off into space, and that that is it. You are you are just dead. Okay, there should be some pirates. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> char char charge beam is a uh, a bit of a luxury. Um, where's the platform? Let's see, there's a platform somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the correct way forward exists. It'd be kind of a bad game if it didn't. Oh, you're on the ceiling. Okay. Fin finally uh, on our way to our first... Ow. Okay, I'm going to back up a bit. <laughs> Do not want to fight those guys on that platform. And judging from that, you know, one attack, I made the right decision. Beginning of this game is not gonna. Yeah, this game's not gonna stay this easy. Okay, do we really have to fire that in this room? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, yeah. That was that was my bad. Got to get used to, like, not needing to scan literally everything. Oh, boy. Aiming up my one true weakness. Nope. Nope. He's dead. Always had to be like not the one I was expecting. Ooh, I just realized we have that. We have that coming up, don't we? Well, there is a save point right here, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Cause this fight coming up here is gonna be a bit of a doozy. You only have five missiles. Zerker Lord. Best part is, this is not even the last one we're gonna face. We get to do more of these later on. Like th this is gonna, this is gonna take a hot minute. Oh man, that is fast. <laughs> okay, well, at least I can like use charge beam on it.
Crap. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> Aiming at the top of the screen is like the bane of my freaking existence. Now, thankfully, the armor joints do drop health when you break them. Yeah, it's it's uh, arm is at an awkward angle when it's doing that beam attack. All right, yep, this is where we get the shot. Oh, it led the shot. Okay, cool. Finally got the break on the head. Oh yeah, we also have the space jump too. I got, kind of forgot to mention that. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. ship back oh hey I got a gold credit for it do you get different gold credits for different difficulties I'm guessing that's probably the case it's honestly been a while since I did uh, different uh, difficulties on Trilogy. I don't know how long it would be. I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, okay, so yeah, given that I started late, I'm not sure how long I'm going to go for tonight. I guess I'll see if I can try to finish Norian. And I might stop after that. But definitely not going to go over two hours. My usual stream length for these nights. So I'm, I'm already behind in that respect. Hey, we get <laughs> this whole fanfare again. Stand to, Samus. Our situation doesn't look good. The pirate attack has knocked out our generators and disabled the planetary defense system. This cannon was our only weapon capable of taking out orbiting ships. We need you and the other hunters to get the generators back online and restore power to the cannon so it can repulse this assault. I'm uploading the generator coordinates to you now. Good hunting. All right. Yeah, we don't need to shoot any of those boxes right now. Let's 
So we get ourselves, uh, this is an interesting upgrade. The grapple lasso. Use it to push and pull things. They, de they definitely went all in on <laughs> the motion control gimmicks for this, because we'll, we'll be getting some additional functionality for this as well. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, motion control gimmicks. That, that motion is really awkward for me. For context, I have the sensor bar above the TV, or monitor in this case. That's like the best place that I can really put it. Yep. Yes, yeah, so, some of these uh, tank drones seem to be weaker than others. I gotta make sure I don't like fall off. I don't. Th you don't really take too much damage from it, but. I'd rather avoid it if I can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this room takes a little longer to load because there are some cutscenes, or at least, you know, a cutscene coming up. Um, what was this? Let's see. Oh, we have to defeat some enemies first. Oh boy, it's these guys again. This time we get two. Yeah, they're really testing your aiming skills here with some of these enemies. Well, uh, this control tower door is locked until all three generators are back online, so you know what that means. Oh, hey, another really easy to get energy tank. How much do you bet we'll need that? Uh, let's not go this cycle. We'll play it safe. Yeah, you really have to like wait for the absolute beginning of the cycle in order to make that. That's unfortunate. I think this just has lore in it. Oh, it's the map. And it has lore in it. Now well, the map is helpful at least. I will admit though, these uh, these areas here, like these wings of this particular base are a bit confusing to navigate. So these are the three lore entries for the other oh, bounty hunters. I mean, I, I, think, I think when I was younger, I just had trouble navigating these Dude, that's gonna fall down it's it's not nearly as bad now but it's kind of these narrow passageways the map doesn't really help you here let's see yeah, we take care of these um, okay yeah no door there So, you know, they're not that bad now, but can be a bit confusing. Okay, so I got some pirates now. So let's uh Wow, you have a lot of health. Why do you have so much health?
All right, there should be one more of you, or not, I guess. You were the last one. I think once you take care of their shield, they're, uh, it's gone for good. Now we get the uh, flying ones, pirate arrow troopers. These guys are uh, pretty annoying. That dodge attack that they do is uh, just, you know, a bit annoying. Oh, wow. What the? <laughs> I did not expect it to fly that long. Like, it, it avoided the ground. I don't know how much damage that did. Okay. <laughs> At least that one didn't crash into me. Okay, missile targeting is just not working. Cool. I don't know what is it what it is about the missile targeting in like Prime Two and Three, but <laughs> it definitely uh, gets off from time to time. Could be a byproduct of like enemies just moving faster. Yeah, Rundus was always my favorite of the three bounty hunters that they introduced in this game. I just received word that the Federation is allowing all bounty hunters to use ship command devices. You should now be able to remotely command your ship and land it here. Generator A is just through those doors. While you head that way, I'll activate the generator on the west side. Between the two of us, this should be a breeze. <laughs> breeze. So, this game definitely has some cool upgrades in it. I think the command visor is one of them. Like, you've never really interacted with your ship quite this way in this series, like, before or since. In terms of, like, being able to redirect it and land it in different places and other upgrades that we'll be getting later on. Honestly, like it's it's a really cool replacement for elevators and traditional save points in the other games. I mean, obviously there are still save points, but yeah, this game does not really have any of the uh, original style elevators between areas. You just kind of fly your ship places. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we, we might make it. I'll try to be uh, expedient. Oops. Oh, great, these. I think the patterns are always set. Like, that, does, that never changes. Come on, load. Oh, hey, that actually hurt me. That That's rude. What? what? <laughs> Another one? So you can actually shoot these, like, before they start. <laughs> oh! That was cool. Look, look at me. Oh, great. Aiming up. So guess what? <laughs> it's, it's Hive Mecha all over again. <laughs> Except not nearly as many, uh enemies this time. Ah, crap. Yeah. Couldn't get, couldn't get lightning to strike twice. Yeah, thankfully they didn't drag this one out. <laughs> like the Hive Mecha fight gets towards the end. Like, there's just so many War Wasps. Uh, 
I'm just gonna kind of skip through these cutscenes there. Not super relevant as long as we know what to do. Oop. So, generator is back online. So, some people don't like the dialogue that pops up uh, during the regular gameplay. I mean, I th I think casually it's fine. I can see how it'd be frustrating from a speedrunning perspective, but if you're just kind of playing the game, then I don't really mind it. Hey, that looks cool. I wish I could do that. Oh, that, that is a uh, space dragon. <laughs> uh, save, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, we, we won't run into him, right? We're gonna run into him. <laughs> Quite literally, in fact, So, gotta make our way back through here. Yeah, I was about to say, I think they're gonna be some pirates, but you know. The uh, Federation seems to be uh, taking care of them now, which is cool. Yeah, you can definitely shoot your power beam a lot faster. I don't know how much faster it really is, but it just it feels a lot faster in this game. They certainly made it feel more impactful. Like the the shot effects when they hit things are just more impressive. So they get to run into gore now. Once the door actually loads, <laughs> it's just taking a sweet time loading because it's got the got the cutscene to load. Come on, I'm running this on a Wii U, <laughs> which I know is really no different than running it on a Wii. U. It, it could have been better, but Nintendo being Nintendo. <laughs> Had to you know, do do what they do. This one has finished The one ahead, I will stay here and protect the area. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was worried that might might take a little bit longer. When, when skipping cutscenes actually takes longer than just letting the cutscene play out. I'm sure that has probably happened at some point to someone. Our scans of the meteor have detected massive quantities of phaser. It could be some sort of fog. Oh, hey. They're just, you know, dead. Cool. So thankfully, we do not have to go to all three wings. 
and activate all three generators. One of them uh, is being taken care of for us by Rundus. Generator B. Alright, well, we didn't get all of them, but we got a lot of them, so. That'll work. Um, let's see. Yeah, we need to get on the other side of that, so. Gotta go into this little morph ball maze of sorts. Ooh, okay. Yep, thanks, got that. There's a there's a way to get up into that tube. I I don't really know how to do it that well. Yep. Oh crap. Yeah, I missed it. Okay, there we go. Got it. Oh, man, see, like, he gets really good at uh, predicting where you're gonna be like they they knew yeah like I, I guess we made it out of that like all right all right I believe this is a safe station though so yeah that you know damage that we took doesn't really matter that much Knew, knew you were gonna be there. All right, this is where they get more fun. All right, time for generator C. Thanks, Sammy. Gandreta certainly is a character. Uh, okay, see, this is the problem. <laughs> the game the game doesn't want to believe that I'm aiming towards the screen. <laughs> Oh, oh no, it's not working properly. We're gonna have to, you know, do some maintenance on it. Samus, our efforts to slow the meteor have failed. We must hurry. Thanks. No, no pressure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing that they put those, uh, railings on these uh, pathways otherwise this could have been like really bad um, reminiscent of some of the prime one missile expansions where you just have to roll along a path with no edges it's, it's great this thing doesn't have the greatest aim I've noticed Uh, 
Uh, I guess we're not going this way. I thought we were. I, I guess not. Um, okay. Well, try rolling around this way. Oh, I guess this is the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the most, like, the most dangerous part here is that, <laughs> that section right there. And there's one on the other end, too. Like, why they couldn't have just put a guardrail on the entire thing is uh, beyond me, but... <laughs> Falling down there sucks. Oh, hey, Ridley. Okay, so this, this is where aim is really gonna matter. Like, precise aim is pretty important for this fight. Gotta avoid the uh, uh, panels that it's scraping off the walls while also doing damage. And now we get to uh, Play a little game of chicken. Got to aim at the right spot. And we are on a timer, which is always fun. Except it's measured in meters. <laughs> All right, doing this again. I think the color change on the shaft here is just based on how much damage you've dealt to Ridley and not your actual uh, distance from the bottom. So we still have a ways to go before we hit the bottom here. Also, this shaft is apparently like, what, at least 13 uh, kilometers long. Can we just talk about talk about that for a moment? Oh wow! <laughs> it is, it is over already. It's not that bad at all for hyper mode. I think my aiming was on point. There he goes. Yep, we, we will be getting gold credits for all of these fights. Okay, that is uh, Last Generator. So, let's see. Yeah, no, I got that. I'm just going to take a quick save here. I hope you don't mind. Okay, sorry. Uh, you were saying? Okay. 
Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, this is probably the biggest problem with the... Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, the, you know, text dialogue. There we go. That, that That's a word that accurately describes what's going on. Oh, hey, the timer's still running. I think it was still running during the save. So yeah, you you actually are on a timer here. Um, I I have never actually run out of time, so I don't really know what happens when you do. So let's uh, let's not find out this particular time. Yep, yep, more of these guys. Oh man. <laughs> that that feels fast. Okay, it's about 14216 according to Twitch at least. Although we are, you know, basically at the egg at, at the end of this so you're late we were about to leave you behind the meteor is approaching faster than you think if we don't make it to the top in time we can kiss this planet goodbye hey, relax we're the good guys justice will Yeah, we actually had more time to spare on that than I thought. Oh no! Seems kind of reckless to fire the cannon that early. Like, how how much of the planet did they hit there? <laughs> One month later. We're just, you know, sitting here for dramatic She's effect. Too. Can you hear me, Samus? Vital signs are stable. Welcome back, Samus. You've been asleep for quite some time. 
A month to be exact. We feared we'd lost you. Thanks to your great work, the Norium is now safe. At the end of the battle, we found you and the other hunters all unconscious. Our medical examinations then yielded surprising results. Your bodies are now, somehow, self-generating Phazon. What's even stranger is that there are no negative effects to your health. This led us to investigate if we could make effective use of this Phazon. During the invasion on Norian, you must have noticed some powerful troopers in new suits. They were wearing what we call Phazon Enhancement Devices, or PEDs. We integrated this same Phazon Enhancement Device into your armor while repairing your damaged bodysuit. Troopers wearing this device have Phazon pumped to their weapons from an external backpack. This gives them an extra boost in firepower. But in your case, think about it. With this Phazon coursing through your body, you can fuel the PED using your own internal energy. Pretty effective, don't you think? Why don't you try the PED now? Seal the room. I thought it was interesting how like this cursor here matches the exact size of the door at that distance. during this test that hyper mode possesses devastating power over the past month we've learned the hard way just how powerful our enemies are to deal with them you'll need the firepower of the PED suit make good use of it now that you are familiar with the workings of the PED device the Aurora unit 242 would like to meet with you there are many pressing matters to discuss the AU chamber is located just off the command bridge you'd better get going good luck oh and one more thing after 25 seconds, the safety feature automatically ends hyper mode. You'll have to keep paying attention. I gotta say, the uh, PED suit, the PED suit, is pretty slick. Hooray! We got a suit. <laughs> Probably the most understated uh, suit acquisition in the Prime series. <laughs> You can use it here. There's really no reason to, though. So what I think I'll do is I will get the info dump from the Aura unit. And I will stop right after we land on Brio. So that, you know, next time we'll be jumping into main uh, gameplay segment. This area is pretty cool in terms of design. Phazon carried by their bodies. 
the Leviathan must be destroyed. Two weeks ago, we dispatched Rites to Brio. Gore to Alicia, while Gandreda was sent to locate the space pirate stronghold. Like you, they were outfitted with PED devices in order to confront this new threat. We lost contact with all of them seven days ago, and fear the worst. In their absence, we need you to travel to these planets and finish their missions. The closest planet is Brio. This will be your first objective. <laughs> what is going on with OBS? I like I just noticed that the stream title was wrong and then it corrected itself but now it's wrong again like it had the previous stream title and game up there for a moment like I just hit update information and it <laughs> has the wrong information in there now at least according to twitch the correct title is correct I'm I'm very confused Oh yeah, plot, uh, or something. <laughs> this is a good track. We've got our proper mission now. Find out what happened to the other hunters. Take care of the, of the leviathans that have impacted Brio and Alicia. Restore the Aurora units. Where we can. Good luck. Samus, the fleet is now moving to the rendezvous location. You will no longer be able to dock with us from this point forward. Rest assured. We will keep communication lines open and supply you with information when necessary. Good luck on Brio. Yeah, if there's one thing that's kind of annoying about this game is that there's some missable scans at the beginning of the game. Like any of the scans on the Olympus itself, you can actually just straight up not be able to get later on. Why, why is OBS so confused about the stream title? <laughs> I, I have nary a clue. Welcome to Brio. <laughs> this this is all you're gonna see. <laughs> so hit save, and we actually finished in under two hours. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. See, I'm just gonna kind of let my cursor drift and go back into place here. Um, all right, let's see if there's anyone available to raid. Okay. One of these days, I'll find another raid target, but for now, we'll we'll keep it classic. And you know. I can also just stall for time so I can enjoy this uh, soundtrack a little bit before killing the stream. That's that's also a thing that I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, well, I I, th I think our raid message has to involve the Emperor Ing in some way because 
Not not a fan. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna go with that. <laughs> Emphatic, but fits my mood. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna commence the raid and I will bid you adieu for tonight.